This is an instructional video on how to install a high-tech bullpup rifle stock onto barreled action, SKS. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the puller, that's the white section there, which is in fact uh, attached to the uh, trigger pivot <coughs> via the uh, trigger bar. I will explain this in detail in a moment which will give you a better understanding of how it actually hooks up. Uh, certainly there's a puller in the buttstock as, a, uh, as you get it out of the box. And so you, all, you should study it and actually see how it actually functions before you try to install it. You should have at least a basic understanding of how this works. Uh, unscrew the uh, screw that's holding the trigger group uh, onto the uh, bullpup stock and then lift slowly up on the trigger group, remove it from the puller. Uh, at that juncture, uh, well, let's take a look at the puller for a moment. This is a puller that we have out of the rifle, and it just simply goes over the trigger group and connects to the trigger bar. Now here it is how you actually fish down through the opening of the stock upside down, and it would just connect to the puller which is down in the stock right now. Now let's take the uh, full pup stock and connect it at the forward detail on the barreled action. And make sure it's all the way forward as you're moving it down into position just so you have a, a good understanding of how it actually fits correctly to the barreled action. And once it's down in position, take the uh, trigger group you may have to lift up on the rear of the uh, rifle stock uh, to uh, allow your hand to get underneath to push the uh, puller up into position. But what you're basically going to do is you're going to fish it down through the opening there with the trigger group and just put the trigger bar through the hole on the puller. And once you've caught it, it'll be engaged and you simply just move the stock down in position, make sure that the lugs on the front of the trigger group are in position, make sure that the rifle stock is all the way forward, and then just simply push down on the trigger group, which locks the whole mechanism in place. Although at this point, what you'd have to absolutely do is put the screw in at the rear of the trigger group, which basically uh, holds uh, the whole system in place so there's absolutely no movement between the stock uh, and the barreled action. Very important. Give that a good snug. And then once that's snugged up, you would just simply put the butt stock on. And uh, the screw that we show in the video here is uh, just a demonstration screw. Uh, the, we, we do provide a longer one, so there's more turning involved, but give it a nice good snug. And uh, then at that juncture, you'd want to uh, remove your standard uh, dust cover if you have one on there. This one is removed. Here's a trick. Push up on the spring and drop it down in position. So it's held in position, and so thus you don't have any back pressure on the uh, uh, receiver cover uh, that you're going to install, which is also a shell deflector and a face protector. And then once that's installed and you've got the uh, pin in and you've got it locked in position, just work the action one time and the spring will just pop into place where it actually needs to be. Now at this point, the rifle would actually be ready to fire. And so you could actually fire around. Let's move to the next step. 